So as we discussed before, the right order of men and women living in holiness and sanctity, Kedusha, is Yud K Vav K. Yud represent the husband, the man. Hey, the woman. Vav, as we said, the son and the daughter. This is harmony. This is the right life which brings blessing to the world. Now, according to Kabbalah. As we mentioned, Yud is a man and A is a woman and Vav also represents a man and He is a woman again. In this case it's son and daughter, but basically you can see that the letter Yud and Vav are very similar. Yud is like the first stage, Vav is a development. All represents the masculine, the male, while the letter He represents a woman. As we said, Isha. Isha, you have the Esh and the He. Woman is a He. Man is a He. Yud. So when you have this harmony of men and women together, you have really proper blessings. As we said, Yud Kebabke is the image of God. And this are, they should live together. Now, if it is distortion, if they don't live properly, if it is not man and woman, woman and man, it means that the letters of God also are mixed up. And here we have, for example, a combination of God name Oya. Yavin Isaac, A, Vav, Yud, K, Avaya, Oya, represent destruction. Yeah? Destruction. It means the letters of God being distorted, not in the proper way, also represent destruction. Now, what happens if men and men, women and women living together, which is not normal, which is men and men, very severe punishment? What happens? Now, we know quite well there is a sickness of AIDS. Many related this sickness to being living a moral life, not proper life. Now, what is the virus name? The now virus name is Aiv, which is really in Hebrew A A Yud Vav, right? If you take the name of the virus, it is A A Yud Vav, letters of God, not in the right order. Now I want to show you. This is really a small part of what Daron Witson found. It is much more, but this I don't have now exactly is stable. So the idea I will show you here. Now, what he did, he wanted to find out where the sickness, AIDS, appears in the Torah. In a minimal letter scheme, because as it is famous, always in Bible code, Torah code, we try to look first from the minimal, which is the most significant. Otherwise, you have many, many possibilities. Now, he wanted to find out what is the Minimal letter skip of eight in Hebrew is Aleph, Yud, Dalet, Samech. So you can see it here. This is a place. Eight, Aleph, Yud, Dalet, Samech. You see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Every six letters you have the word eight. Eight. Now, what is interesting is that the number six is the number of letters, six mystically represents sex. By the way, I wrote a whole book about number six, which represents really the connection between men and women, like sex and six. You can see the connection of this number. But the number six is a number of connection, you see. So six minimal appearing in Genesis. You can see the book Genesis. And it appears exactly in the story of the flood. Yeah, the story of the flood. Now, our rabbis tell us in the Medrash that the reason of the flood was because they live not normal life. Men and men, animals and men together. So this, what the rabbis tell us? That the flood was the result of not living normal life. Now, you have the eight here. And here you have, by the way, Arus destroys, 
this uh, destroy and here is a chesion, this is immun immunity so we know quite well that AIDS is sickness, machala, you can see here machala on top machala which causes the immunity in men to be destroyed and when the immunity is destroyed so all viruses, everything comes in and destroys the man, kills him, right? So immunity, what immunes the man? Proper life. When it is not proper life, so is open to all evil forces. Now, unbelievable, you can see here clearly the virus. A, H in English, HIV, right? HIV. A, A, Yud, Vav. A, as we said, A represents the women, lesbians. Two women together, Yud, Vav, represent the men. Men together, males together. So this combination of living men and men together is here in connection with the Tishacheta Aretz. The land became corrupted and the result was, as is written here, the flood when God told Noah, go into go with Teva to defend yourself from the flood, which came as a result of corruption as we have not living normally. So it's amazing to see the minimal AIDS come exactly the story of the flood when the land was corrupted, the Betimala Aretz Hamas, and also something interesting that here you have like two verses, Bedam Mavet, this in the blood. We know that this is really what happened in the AIDS, this virus in the blood comes here, all in the same line, yeah, we are the snake, because the snake is a symbol of the Satan also appearing here. So in this story of the flood, you have the minimal appearance of AIDS, immunity destroyed, death in blood, and HIV, exactly not coincidence. We know that nothing is going to happen if the virus has this letters, which is two women, AA and Yud Vav. Because the right order should be Yud Ke Vav Ke. Yud a man and a woman, then we have children, Vav and A. But this is such a thing, it brings destruction. Now, interesting is to give meaning to the word AIDS. In Hebrew, aid is disaster. Samech, the round Samech represents mystically the immunity. Immunity, the fence which defends. AIDS is destruction to the immunity. Exactly the description of the sickness. So this is exactly what we said before, what men and women should be, how they should live together according to the Torah. And when you have this gaze, you are very proud. In Hebrew, gay is guy, yeah, proud. You have today the parade of gays, yeah, in Hebrew, is Misada Gava. Yeah, gay, in Hebrew, gay is part, and also no coincidence, but clearly appearing exactly minimal in the story of the flood, corruption, telling us what kind of corruption can come, disaster to the world if they don't live properly as Yudki Babke, but A.A. Yudvav.